it's your boy NWP, and today I'm going to bring some more blackout tips, as I've been playing for another day, and I've got a couple more wins. So, yeah, let's get the little intro over with. So, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted any time that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Now listen, guys, I'm doing a giveaway for $50 in your favorite gaming currency when I hit 1,000 subscribers, but I'm also going to do a giveaway every 1,000 subscribers after that and concurrent with the first 1,000. So, somebody from the actual link in the description will win and a random subscriber will win at a thousand two thousand three thousand eggs you know just counting on and on it so if you want to sign up for that click the link in the description if you don't that's up to you man um obviously you have to have your subscriptions uh shown like if i can't see who you are subscribed like you won't be in for the running so keep that in mind guys that's going to be for every giveaway uh that you're ever going to hear but um yeah so let's talk about tips for placement okay so placement if you really want to get wins and you're not just going for high kill games is going to be uh basically you're going to want to go to the edge ring and you're going to want to go to where it's going to be closest to the actual edge of the ring and i'll show this on the mini map several times throughout this game where i mark the actual mini map for me and my teammate to go to and that's where we're gonna go now the reasoning behind this is the chances of somebody being in the out like behind you basically in the outskirts is almost basically nothing it's like the most negligible irrelevant chance when you go to this area after the first ring the first ring definitely you can get caught by people coming out of that gas like that on the close side but the close side typically is going to stay so close <clears throat> the entire time that being out there would just be fatal for no reason so people just aren't going to be out there now another big point of being out towards the edge ring is that you have uh, a good control of where the map can go next um understanding like, like it really can go all the way across but it's unlikely to that doesn't mean that it can't remember that now, another point to prove is, well, prove, I don't know what the hell I was talking about there, but another point here is that when you're in somewhere that's open, there's no buildings, and you're just kind of looking at random different uh, rolling hills, you want to stay in a rolling valley, rolling hill, and just see exactly <clears throat> uh, what I mean by rolling hills is we actually hold a rolling hill <clears throat> at the end of this. Now... At the end of this, like, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know what that guy was doing right there, though. Like, he was just, like, out in the middle of nowhere, like a Star Wars sand people. Just jumped up and was, arr, arr, and shot at us, like, randomly. Now, the funny part is, is when we were actually playing this, is like, I was, as we were running through that open area there, I was, like, saying, this is dangerous. And then some dude starts shooting at us, like, immediately after me saying that. So it was kind of ridiculous. And as you can see here, I took my armor off randomly like a jackass. But, uh, okay, so, like I was saying, back to what I was talking about here. It, look in this area uh, for what I'm talking about by rolling hills. You see how it's a lot of up and down area where they're not very big hills or mountains or anything like that. And there I go marking the edge ring that I'm talking about. And we're going to head right to that spot. But now, as you see, there's a little hill here. It goes up. And it goes down. These hills are just rolling. Okay. Now, with rolling hills, it gives you a good chance to have a lot of combat line of sight, as well as a lot of combat avoidance of line of sight. Okay. So being out of line of sight and in a line of sight, as well as giving you a couple different hill advantages. You know, depending on who you're gunfighting or where you're being shot from. This plays in really well with edge ring because if you play a rolling hill on the edge ring, you pretty much have a three-directional front to, to be able to watch rather than a four-directional, which minimizing the amount of directions that you have to look at any given time is your main objective at all times in this game. You don't want to be trying to fight a 360-degree battle. So keep that in mind. Also, be aware of your surroundings and really, just like in the real world, your eyes will play tricks on you more than your ears, okay? But more so in a video game, because in the video game there's a lot of debris and stuff going by, but your ears will hear a sound, and the sounds will never be 
different like a footstep will always be a footstep they will always be very distinct and the same now watch in here i hear these people before we ran up to them and i hit this guy now always use your gadgets i said this in my other video always use your gadgets because i use my gadgets i took him out without risking myself we get in here my buddy's freaking out about these lasers i seen the laser i wasn't like afraid of it that's why i jumped in but uh <laughs> I see this guy right here, okay? Now this is another thing is when you're when you're doing stuff, like if you're gonna commit, commit. Don't don't just run away and think you know, and it, you really gotta commit to your fights when you when you start fights. So this is basically what I'm getting at. Don't don't run away, don't try to hide I mean, unless you absolutely have to because you've taken damage. That guy didn't take any damage yet. He was just outside. Like maybe he took some from the uh you know, entire um explosion there, but he didn't really take any bullet damage, so I would have, I would have stayed and fought, basically. I would have, you know, but that's me. So, like, it's, it goes back to what I was saying again, that, like, treat this like COD. Don't treat it like another game. This is COD, so you can shoot through things. Um, you know, you can shoot long range and just spray and get those lucky, lucky shots. And, you know, really just do that kind of stuff. Don't, don't be afraid to play a COD game like it's COD. Don't fall for the... Uh, PUBG trick to play this like it's PUBG because it's not PUBG. It's not H1Z1. It's not Fortnite. This is Call of Duty. And even there's even though they added in some bullet drop in this, it does not mean it's anything different. Now, this is really where we're going to show um, the strategy of using a rolling hill and edge ring to your absolute maximum advantage. Okay. Now, this is another point, is using your land to your advantage. Now, typically speaking, being down low is always going to be a disadvantage. But when there's only one way to cross into a safer area, then like going down into a valley like this is actually safer because we can be a little bit more stealthy when there's so much going on in the other areas. Now, the thing is, is we do have to be somewhat quick here and get like out of that area as fast as possible and get back up into the fight. Now, when we get up here is when I make the decision to be like, yeah, you know what? Never mind this craziness down here. This is all bad. This doesn't, none, none of this looked safe to me. And I was like, all right, let's go back to these hills. So here you are, again, hearing me talk about rolling hills and the final point where our back is to the hill here. And we have this, look at this. Look at this perfect hill positioning, okay? We can see everything through the blades of the grass. We got three-point directions that we can see and basically take a 90-degree view each so we have the entire front of us covered. And we see this guy. We start putting some pop shots out there because we're suppressed. He has no idea where we are. So I throw some grenades, you know, that kind of thing. You can do a lot of, you can do a lot of like, creepy stuff with grenades and some, like this kind of shit in there. And he jumped in front of me. Put a pop shot in my homeboy's butt. So there's a, there's another tip. Like if you are like playing in duos or squads, pay attention to where the barrel of your teammates are. Don't run in front of your teammates when there could be gunfire. Live when there's live ammo flying around. Act like there's live ammo flying around. Did you see this guy? I just peppered him up with this thing right here. Now this is another. This is what I'm talking about. This is Call of Duty. I can't see him, but I know he's behind that bush. Even though we can't walk through it, the hell with it. Shoot the bush up. It don't matter. Take him out. So we did play a little bit campy here for the win. I'm not gonna lie. We we you know we weren't gonna just run out in the open with multiple teams out there just already themselves camping. Like there's just not a lot of action going on. And the moment that I heard any action, I started throwing stuff at it. Or if I saw anybody, I started fighting. Boom. You know what I mean? Like, I went for him. I was aggressive as soon as I knew where people were. It was not like we, you know, stayed there and, like, camped it out, like, in a corner. You know what I mean? Like, we just, but we did wait to see what was going on, get a little intel, see the, uh, you know, the goings on, if you will. But, uh, you know, we got, we've been getting some W's and we've been getting a lot of kills, uh, you know, playing, you know, and, and a lot of ridiculous kills. Uh, I would say the rocket launcher kills with, on, like, helicopters and on the quads is probably the funniest thing I've ever seen. And uh, I applaud Treyarch for actually adding that to the game because it is just hilarious. So here we are getting into the last gunfight. And this guy's teammate's down, and we just, boom, we executed him. And then I hit him with some Halloween emoji. Boom, bats, yeah. All right, guys, thank you for watching. You know, you guys are awesome. Thanks for the subscriptions. Here's two more videos you can watch. As always, have a good one. I'm out.